Welcome to another episode of Stable Talk Online because Corona has yet to end to be determined if it ever will. Today we have Stevenson Softball, we have KB, and how do you, sorry, how do you say um everything? Alex DeGrandy. Okay. <laughs> um, you guys just want to tell us a little about yourselves, like, hometowns, uh, maybe position, major, when you got into softball, things like that? Okay. Um, Alex, you want to go first? I don't care. <laughs> I'll go first. I don't care. Um, so I'm Alex. I'm from Marlboro, New Jersey. Um, I'm a catcher, third base. Uh, I major middle school math and science. And I started playing softball when I was like six years old. Okay. So my name's KB. I'm from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Um, I'm a psychology major. I play center field. And I started playing softball around like eight years old. I tried every other sport before softball. <laughs> <laughs> softball was the one that stuck. What have you guys been up to during this quarantine? What's your guys' go-to activities to stay not bored? <laughs> oh my goodness. I've played I've been a working lot. out. Yeah. Yeah, working yeah. out. Uh, meditating. I've started meditating over winter break, mm -hmm. and then I definitely slacked when like the season started. And now that like I've had nothing else to do, I start like meditating and doing. Do you more use yoga. like an app or what do you uh, what do you do for that? I usually just go on YouTube and I'll do like honestly <laughs> I'll type in anything like meditations for creativeness, motivation, concentration all of those things I've done so many it's insane but they've all like it's very is it like more yoga -y stuff or is it like sitting there and like practicing your like breathing so when I do my yoga that's when I practice more my breathing but like I'll do meditation either before or after whenever I really like feel like doing it okay and then I'll like turn the lights off and then I'll like lay down like on my floor or something on my yoga mat and just listen to a guided meditation Okay. Nice. So Kayla we wanted to <laughs> psychology major. <me. laughs> so we wanted to like kind of start off by talking about um your guys's bullseye. And... Oh my gosh! I should have grabbed him. I love bullseye. Go get him if you want. I'm gonna go grab him. Alex. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just sprinting. Bullseye. We got bullseye like. Last year, so our sophomore year, we got them. We were at okay. Walmart, and we saw them, <laughs> and we were like, "Whole team, we're gonna get or... bullseye." No, it was just me and there Kayla. It, <laughs> it was just you two. Yeah, it was you two who got them. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is perfect then. <laughs> 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 All right, All so right. like, tell us where he originated from. She said you guys got him at Walmart. The story behind it. When he makes his special appearances, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. We were going to ask you where he stays, but we just found well, out. We know where he stays yeah. now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we originally had Buck, which was literally like the reverse colors. He was lighter. I know. He was our, our the OG. <laughs> our old trainer. <laughs> she, um, which daughter? We gave it to Lainey. Lainey, yeah. Lainey <laughs> fell in love with him at our senior day, our sophomore year. And, I, like, I, I could not take it from her. We were, like, just just keep it. Oh. <laughs> so, one day, it was um, the women's basketball game, actually, their playoff game. And I was, like, I need okay. another horse. <laughs> so, literally, I – We have to, like, show that clip from the basketball game. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was such so – Oh, he's running around. <laughs> Congratulations to former Mustangs quarterback and pitcher Dan Williams, who was part of the offensive coaching staff for the Super Bowl 54 champion Kansas City. Yes. So literally right after practice, like I rushed home, I showered, and then I went straight to Walmart and went straight to the game. And that's where Bulls I you, you got him the same day as that game. <laughs> that's I, I didn't that know game. that. Yeah. <laughs> and we took him. Alex, you can talk more about like when he comes out during our games. And when well, Kayla is always in charge of him, and she'll – usually, like, before the game, before it starts, when, like, we're literally about to do, like, our 
announcements and everything, she'll take it and run back and forth on uh, on the side and just like get the whole crowd like wild up and everything. And then when, before we go out to the field, we also, everyone touches his nose for good luck. <laughs> My favorite part about him, I don't know if you can even hear it. Yeah, oh, hear that's it. awesome. <laughs> Walmart finds. Yeah. No, it was so funny because me and Alex were roommates um our freshman year until I moved off campus actually. And we were at Walmart yeah. one day and we saw him. We saw Buck and we were like, we need it. Like we need it. I love how mm -hmm. Walmart sells that. <laughs> and you knew that Walmart sells it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I really went straight there. <laughs> you guys also brought brought him. Is it a boy or girl? A boy. 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 Did, you guys also brought him to one of the ice hockey playoffs too, right? Yeah, I was yeah, okay. literally out for playoff, big playoff games, and all of your games. Yeah, I was planning on taking him to all of the games from like now on, like next year, because we will be on campus, speaking it yeah. into existence. <laughs> yeah, I was like going to all of the games. He's like, we were gonna say like while it's saying junior, but like you're like, no, he needs his own name. Yeah, <laughs> I like Full it. Life. <laughs> well, we're gonna uh move into a little. We can keep, we can keep bullseye for the whole okay. interview. <laughs> okay. <I like> him. <laughs> we're gonna move into a little "Would You Rather" segment here. So, start mm -hmm. off. Would you rather get stung by a deadly hornet or captured by a UFO? You don't know where you're going on the UFO. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I would want to get captured. Like, I would want to get captured by the UFO. Like, yeah. I would just pray that I would not be tortured. <laughs> I was like, at least I, I get to find out. At least you could have a cool story out of it. Yeah, pray, <laughs> pray, yeah. there, pray there's some uh, chill aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd pray for that. <laughs> I was like, see the world, get out. I would, I would love that. Yeah, especially right now. I know. Mm -hmm. All right, would you guys rather travel the world for a year on a shoestring budget or stay in only one country for a year but live in luxury? I would travel I on would a budget. Travel the world. Yeah. yeah I would too. I, just see everything. I think I'd be rich. In Living America. like the bum life, <laughs> like all around the world, would be cool. It's, it's not like I leave the country anyway, so. Wait, Honestly, what did you say? You wanted to I live in I, I said I would just be rich in one country because it's not like I leave the country every year anyway. <laughs> I mean, okay. my thing is, like, I've been balling on a budget since I came to college. I know. <laughs> so, I've been yeah, balling literally. on budget since 1996. Literally. Now you can travel the world like that? Sure, why not? Exactly. <laughs> All right. Live without music or live without movies? Movies. I love my music. <laughs> <laughs> That's I know. This one's hard for me, too. Yeah, I'd pick uh, without movies as well. I think honestly, I yeah, movies. Because I love dancing and I love to sing way too much, so probably without movies. I agree. <laughs> All right, give up pizza or pasta forever. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's you got him. This pizza. Is oh I love God. carbs. I'd have you at pizza because there's so many different options you can do with pasta. I know. True Italian but right honestly, here. What are you gonna do? <laughs> honestly, I I would have to give up pizza because I can't give up like big ZD stuffed shells. I can't give that up. <laughs> I, think I'd give, I think I'd give up pasta. Oof. I really like pizza, like, but I feel like any vodka. Oh yes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hop into some team superlatives so this can be like anyone on your team any coaches trainers whatever so the first one is most likely to be in the best mood at 6 a.m lifter practices oh. <laughs> i had a feeling when i wrote this i was like i feel like it's gonna be her <laughs> yeah literally i go into every lift like play it's a different song every lift but i'm always the one just running around like dancing <laughs> and i'll join her sometimes but then i'm just like all right i'm way too tired now but not, <laughs> sometimes not all the time yeah no <laughs> um most likely to become a pop singer or join a band alex <laughs> she's always no, our band is me aaron and morgan that's our band yeah literally oh, no. 
When we were in Florida, they karaoke in front of so many different people. Like, just got mm-hmm. up there. And the, uh, at, like, no a restaurant problem. or what? Yeah, it was like a... Was that our hotel? Yeah, it was like a cafe at our hotel. And it was karaoke? Yeah. Mm-hmm, they uh-huh. had karaoke night. Nice. What's your karaoke song? Me and Morgan, we do Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Good one. And we took, we took <laughs> over the place. <laughs> we about to sh- shut the place down. Yeah. Uh, most likely to uh, break a world record. Oh. Let me break a world record. Could be a weird one. Weird world record. That's, that's what I'm like. For some reason, I'm getting like MT or CAT with like lifting. lifting. <laughs> I would say, yeah, MT, like, her determination is crazy, like, that, like, yeah. she is one of the most determined people I've, Who's like, MT? Morgan Thayer. Morgan Thayer. One of the catchers. Yeah. Her, right. I guess this may have already been answered, but who's the best dancer? Me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind, do you, like, God. break out in, like, a break dance? What kind of dances are you? I, I you can doing? break dance. I, I have mean, to. it's mainly me and Kayla. Uh-huh. That Do you dance. think it's in there with Jess, the little Irish? Jess dances? Oh, Jess. I would say Jess is the best dancer. I dance the most, yeah. but Jess is probably the best. Who's hitting, who's, hit, who's hitting the TikTok dances? That's probably, like, Alex. I, I don't throw them. Emma Kelly. Emma Kelly. Oh, Emma like Kelly, all, yes. All the TikToks. She knows all of them. A lot, a lot of the yeah. freshmen. Most of the freshmen do that. Yeah. I, that. I try to, but I, sometimes I can't. <laughs> I, t- I look at them and I'm just like, how? I literally yeah. don't yeah. I, like, <laughs> I don't think we I don't know how your body moves like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, most likely to be Twitter famous. Twitter famous. Um, yeah, he's got, like, would, who would put out some, like, good witty tweets? Either consistently famous or one that just, like, blows up. Goes viral. I'm trying to think of the one that I just, Jordan Fangman. Jordan Fangman. Oh, he's hilarious. <laughs> Jordan Fangman. <laughs> he's hilarious. She would post yeah. something dumb that people just laugh at. and It would, it would just, definitely be Jordan. Definitely <laughs> okay. be Jordan. All right, we're going to go into some question and answers. What's your guys' most prized possession and why? Okay. KB's got hers in the frame. Yeah, right here. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I can't, like, I have to cover his ears since I had another one. <laughs> most most prized prize possession. possession? Yeah. Um, oh, my God. This is actually really hard. I know. I'd have to be... Mm, this is so hard. I would probably have to say, like, <laughs> my family, I guess. Like, okay. That's like, a good answer. Yeah. Family and friends, yeah. yeah. I also have this thing in my room that my great-grandma sewed before before I was even born. It's been and it's a laptop. It's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. Okay. Yeah. She sewed it. Oh, it's like And, like, when I was fish. born... Yeah, when I, when I was born, I looked, everyone kept saying that I looked just like Snow White, and it's, like, really weird how, like, she sewed that for me before I was born, and, like, okay. she passed away, like, a week after I was born, too, so, like, it's just, like, really cool to me. Yeah, I like that. Mm. Which, um, mo- which famous person, um, past or present would you have lunch with? Jennifer Lopez. Oh, <laughs> Right on the dot. <laughs> Love Jennifer Lopez. Where would you guys go? And you guys could dance together. Exactly. <laughs> you go eat your pasta, uh, or where would you take her? Or where would she take you? She'd probably take me to like some fancy restaurant in New York that like I just feel like I don't belong. <laughs> you take me to like the Bronx. Isn't that where she's yeah. from? Yeah. Yeah, she's from the Bronx. Are her and A Rod married or not yet? Not yet. Not, not they're engaged. They're not married yeah, yet. They're engaged. Mm-hmm. Honestly, oh my gosh, this is hard. Honestly, I probably like famous Kobe Bryant. At like, wow. honestly, yeah, because I know we have the same initials. Plus, just reading like, <laughs> so much about him, <laughs> and it's like, and he just did so much, and he was heavily like 
involved in his faith like I am, and he was just a very successful athlete. So I would just love just to hear him talk. Macy, you, what? I said, Macy, who would you eat with? <laughs> I don't know. There's so <laughs> many people, but like, athlete wise, I think I'd go like Jack Black or something. Like something. Oh my god, he's oh, so annoying. I don't Jack like him. Really? <laughs> I hate him. Remember when he's he was funny? Did you guys ever watch the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards? Yeah. Yeah. When he hosted them, I hated it. I, me and my friend, it was always on April Fool's Day, I remember. Me and my friend would always have sleepovers. And then once he started hosting all of them, we're like, I'm done with this. I'm not watching this anymore. I hate him. But wow, that's a I would probably thing. choose, like, I really like um, Abby Wambach from the U.S. women's soccer team. I like her. Yeah. And then, like, a non-serious answer would be, like, Chloe Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> or like Scott Disick. I really like Scott Disick. Oh, I love Scott. I probably have one. I know. If I if I could like see one famous person, it would be him. I don't know why. <laughs> He's not that great, but I just like is kind he, of what him. is he? Actor? No, he he used to date Courtney Kardashian. Like, I, mean, like, I don't really know. He's not really like anyway. does, he, does he like do anything though? Um, he's like clothing brands and like does club appearances. That's literally it. <laughs> he's a public figure. Yeah, public that's figure. true. Pro- like a Kardashian would be like my ultimate goal to go yeah. to lunch with. I feel like they're like the top of the top. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Jay, who would you choose? Uh, huge Kardashian. Fan. Uh, someone musically, I'm sure. Yeah. Um. Best Stevenson travel experience. Ooh. Travel experience? It's been a lot. I know. Probably, okay. This sounds, this is hard actually. Like, I'm debating between like a Florida trip and then our last bus ride. Where bees? We oh, got yeah, we went to Rural Farm. I got a whole pack of fried chicken, like the 12 pack of fried chicken. That was my first time having fried chicken from Royal Farms, and I was like, wow. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I literally (laughs) lived right next to one. Unpopular opinion, but I think Royal Farms fried chicken is kind of like, eh. It is like a bad thing. I've never had the fried chicken, but the wedge fries are so good. I think those are are eh, too. (laughs) But like, I'm a wall wall girl to heart. Oh, me too. Yeah. Jersey all the all way. Right. Wawa. Wawa, Wawa or Sheets? Wawa. 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 Gotta have a Wawa. Like, I like their pop yeah. chicken, the popcorn chicken. But yeah, Wawa more overall. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you enjoy most about softball? I think, like, just the team environment. Mm-hmm. Like, especially our team, like, we're all, like, super close like we just tell each other everything we'll also pick on each other like I treat them like they're my sisters and like I'll just pick on them for yes. literally no reason just to have fun but just like the whole like team environment like acting like a family like I think that's what's like super fun about it mm-hmm. yeah I have to say the team because even though we only got like two game days <laughs> yeah. like yeah. But literally it was two game days and we had a whole month of straight practice. Like a lot of other, if I was doing that with any other team, I probably would have been losing my mind. But like coach yeah. does a really good job of making it very interactive and having fun mm-hmm. and building that mm-hmm. team environment. So that definitely like, that's my yeah. favorite part about softball. I can see that she does a really good job with that. Yeah. yeah. Best coach that like, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> like best coach. We're gonna, she always uh, has ideas. It's amazing. What'd you say? She always has, like, different ideas for practice. Mm-hmm. I can see, like, all the stuff that she does, like, on social media and stuff. And I can see that, like, she could be really well-liked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to uh, we're gonna actually ask you guys at the end to tell us your favorite, like, Coach Julia story. But we have uh, – <laughs> We have, if, before before you get going, we got one we got one section. We're gonna we're gonna test your Stevenson and softball trivia here. Oh God! <laughs> All right. Um. So, how many Stevenson players 
currently play professionally in Europe? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say currently zero because nobody's playing. <laughs> but <laughs> that is true. Good loop around that. But um, just off the recruiting for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I would say like two. Oh, I was going. I was going to go with like eight. I was going to shoot high. It's two. Two. Oh, yeah, let's oh, go to win. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who it is. I should have looked up who it was, but there we go. Bullseyes in it. <laughs> All right. What year? Oops. What year did Stevenson softball become the 16th sport at Stevenson University? <laughs> 16th last 17th because baseball and softball were like at the same time. I what? want to say so, what yeah. year. <laughs> You're thinking before hockey's and before, before beach volleyball. Swimming, before beach volleyball. 2002. Okay, what's your what's your answer, Alex? Um, <laughs> uh, 2000. Yeah. 1999-2000. <sighs> All right, we're one for one. We have one final question left. Oh, let's go. What year was softball first played in the Olympics or Olympic medal sport? Uh, I know it stopped in 2012, so I want to say. 19. <laughs> 86. I don't know. The year is 1986. We're going to go with that. Is that even an Olympic year for spring sports? I, don't, I have no uh, idea. No, it would be... It would be 80, 84. It would be 84, 80. I was going to say 19... Okay, now I'll do 1976. 1984. The other way. Other way. Oh! Yeah. Not... Okay, the 1990... What you said? 1992. 98. Down. Wait. 94. Up. 96. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Like, well, at, least got, at least you got right that you knew what year it ended. Yeah, that's why, one. Why'd they, why'd they take it out? I'm not I educated. Even, I don't even know if I knew that, to be honest with you. Yeah. I, don't I know, know they were supposed yeah. to bring it back this in 2020, though. They were bringing it back. Yeah, in Japan. Skating was going to be in it, too. Was it really? Skateboarding, yeah. That's so oh. crazy. Was, wow. Who's like the skateboarders now? Like Tony Hawk or? No. Uh, <laughs> That's the only skateboarder I know. <laughs> I feel like he's retired. <laughs> Tony's like. Do you guys ever watch his reality show? I did before. <laughs> he used to have all the little Tony Hawk things too. I was such a tomboy. I was such a tomboy. <laughs> <laughs> he's a little skateboard. It's like the finger ones. Like. The tech well, I have decks. Too. The tech decks, the tech decks yeah. are so much fun. Yeah. I uh, I actually I like one, I actually like keep one on my desk because like when I'm like making music or making videos and I'm just kind of like stuck, I kind of just it's, like I kind of just sit there and start tech decking for a couple. Of minutes. I had one in fifth grade and I got That's... it confiscated. <laughs> for what? I, like, had it, yeah. I remember had an elementary cubby, You know, your your desk would sit and you had the thing underneath your desk while your books went. Yeah. I had one, like yeah. play with it in there. <laughs> And those were loud too. Yeah. Yeah. Tech decks are fun. All right, to wrap things up, your favorite Coach Julia story. Oh, each man. of you. <laughs> we want to hear what you got. Oh my gosh. I gotta think of a good one. Could be on a game day, a bus game trip. Day, practice. Oh my gosh, I have one. Okay. okay. So this is my freshman year, and we played one or two we had like one or two game days before we went to florida i can't remember but there was this umpire made a terrible call while we were in florida and no, talking about. really there was a second there was a runner on second and she was running the third and the batter hit the ball to a short stop so aaron steffi went to go field the ball and she literally ran like right into her it made no attempt to like get out of her way and she was going towards the ball so like she had the right towards the ball yeah. Well, he called an obstruction on Aaron and Coach Jay. I will not forget. I was standing in the <laughs> field. Coach Jay was sitting on that bucket and he called that obstruction. She got up and was like walking over there. <laughs> Six foot one. Stop. This umpire is like five three. 
like so short. Guy she, or girl? Like, she's like she's guy like six guy. foot. Okay. Guy. The guy. And she's like looking down. She's like, "How are you gonna call that?" And he said, he, "I can't remember the exact wording, but he said either calm down, sweetie, or calm down, honey, something mm-hmm. like that." And she was like, "Do not call me that. You would not call a male coach that." <laughs> and it was like that was like one of my first like, experience. I was like, "Oh my, I like that's this so girl. bad." Mhm. Like, <laughs> Any time Coach Jay argues with the umpires, it's like. It's so funny because she's so much taller than all of them. He's like five hours. She's like at least six foot, right? Yeah. Does she ever hit a hat throw? No, she doesn't. I've never Mm -hmm. seen her hit a hat throw. I don't think she would want (laughs) to take it off of her little leg. She has her like. She has her hair on. She'd be too worried about her hair getting messed up. Yeah, she's (laughs) fried in 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 her hair. Anytime she interacts with the umpires, it's, I'm just like, yes, Coach Jay. <laughs> I know, we're all, like, backing her up. <laughs> it's, it's, what did the call end up being? Did they take your guys aside or no? No. <laughs> At least she tried. But she gave you guys yeah. some, some moral uh, momentum there. Mm-hmm. Let's put some fire yeah. in you guys. I think we oh, ended yeah. up, like, going 500 our first year in Florida. Something like that. I, I think so. I think we did, yeah. Yeah. All right. Alex, what's your story for us? Uh, I don't know, because that one is hilarious when she does that. I know. Um, you just, you, she like froze for me in the most like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, it, was just, like this. it was just like watching like a, oh. like, an, like an animated like stop motion because you were like this and then this. And then. <laughs> um. I gotta think. I don't even know, honestly. I think it's just a funny one. I don't, I don't know, because I always had such, like, such funny interactions with Coach Jay that, like... I know, it's hard to pick one. Um, this is hard. It could be a, a team story, a team moment. Not necessarily. Yeah. And it's something that represents uh, Stevenson softball. Oh my god, why am I blanking right now? Like bus rides. Um yeah, we're on bus rides easy. we play games. I know. We do heads up. You can talk about when she does the uh drills with us, the games, like the tic tac toe agility. Her and Coach Kim. Oh that was funny. She was so <laughs> yeah. salty she lost. <laughs> Coach Day always honestly what I love about Coach Day is that she'll always like get in on like agility and games with us and she'll like always destroy us because like one of her steps is like five of mine and like whenever she tries to play games with us I'm like this is just this is just not fair coach J and <laughs> I, I don't know or or same game how she does shame oh if you don't if you don't like the meet a requirement <laughs> something or if you get out in the game she's like you're in shame you gotta go flip the corner <laughs> <laughs> like, I really will make the whole team yell shame, point at you, and yell shame, shame at you. And then you go stay in the corner by yourself. For how long? Like, until, like, the competition's over. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> but it's, like, a funny thing. It's, like, special human. Casey was thinking, like, weeks on end. Oh, uh, that... <laughs> you just stay there and don't eat. <laughs> yeah. Same, like, she has an acronym for it, though. It's, like, special human. Special human. Ad- advanced i can't remember but it's like it's not like a bad shame it's more like funny funny shame yeah yeah Yeah. i like when she tries to explain drills to me and i have no idea what she's saying (laughs) she'll explain a drill like everything everyone understands it and i'm just like "Ah, coach jay i have no idea what you just said that's how i would be be. Mm -hmm. like same you Well, yeah. before we hop off, are there any shout outs you guys want to make? Outs. Where to follow you? Quarantine. And- Quarantine yeah. tips. Follow Just my kidding. Instagram at Alex <laughs> underscore DeGrandy and follow my Twitter at Alex underscore DeGrandy underscore. There's an extra underscore <laughs> in the Twitter. <laughs> my Instagram, I'll, I'll shout it out. It's K Bryles, three S's. But I want to, like, give a thanks to you guys, too, though, 
Because you got, I like the Go Mac Sports Instagram, or Go Mustang Sports, Go Mac too, but like the Go Mustang Sports, and you guys are still getting involved with the athletes. And I know, like, mm-hmm. I talked to other athletes, and everyone's really appreciative of that. That's good to hear. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and shout like, out Coach Jay. Shout out Coach Jay. Yeah. Our coaches are very Coach involved. Play. Like, there's not yeah. a day that goes by that, like, we're not, our team's not talking. Like, we're still. And yeah. John, the athletic trainer. John's my boy. <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> the things he says <laughs> our like, group chat watch, is always lit <laughs> he's the, so funny I think one of the funniest things like I heard him say for quarantine was the Outer Banks we were all talking about that in our softball mm-hmm. group chat and he was like I think you all luck, lucked out because John A because that's like his little name is so uh, John, John B, B. <laughs> so, <laughs> good one good one Hello. I'm like, like, yes, John. <laughs> simple sly comments like that. It's I still mm-hmm. have to finish Outer Banks. I haven't finished it yet. So I haven't even started I it yet. I try to get for some reason. I've try, been trying to get on my Netflix app. It like, it like crashes on me. <laughs> but it's all <laughs> when I watch Outer Banks. Like I'll, I went into clicked on something else and it didn't crash. I don't know what's wrong. That's so weird. <laughs> I don't know. I need to figure something out to watch it. But mm-hmm. do you guys ever watch you? Yeah, I watched. No, that was creepy. I, I don't like things. I watched season it? one, and then yeah. I went to go watch Casey season couldn't two. Get off, couldn't get past the finger. Yeah, after he chopped off the guy's finger, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. That's not my scene. Me being but, a psych major, I was, like, analyzing, like, everything. But I was I like, just, are you a um, disorder? <laughs> you, made it, you made it so far. You should have just... That's such a good show. You should just... It was like... The, it, was like it, doesn't get, it doesn't get worse than The Finger. It was just so <laughs> shocking. I was sitting there, and I kind of, like, was, like, half paying attention, half, like, on my phone. And all of a sudden, I look up, and the guy... Even the guy, out of nowhere, just goes... <laughs> I was like... Oh, watch this. Yeah, you cannot watch Dexter. Oh, I've heard that's like that, too, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's not for me. <laughs> No, I stick to my Disney movies. Um, Disney Plus? Yes, Disney Plus. <laughs> I've been watching That So Raven on Disney Plus lately. Ooh, I've been watching Street Life of Zack and Cody on Disney Plus. I just did, remember when... Um, and the hotel are on deck. The hotel's on deck. Oh, the regular, the one they're in the hotel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one. I just that did one. the whole, um, I think it was last week, I just watched um, That So Sweet Life of Hannah Montana. We oh, that's they a did great the one. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I love the life downstairs. You do? I love the strawberry shortcake cake when you would open it. It smelled like strawberries. I was obsessed with strawberry shortcake. <laughs> I had an imaginary friend named Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. In my, pho- my parents' phone book, I had like, I wrote her name and her address and her phone number. <laughs> well, what was the phone number? I don't know. We saw the phone book. I'm about to go look it up after this. It's so funny. That is so funny. (laughs) Well, thank you guys for your time. Thanks for doing this with us. Thank you. Stay safe. Everyone has a good quarantine. Hopefully, you get some follows on your Twitters and Instagrams. (laughs) Yeah, follow. I follow so many different athletes anyway. (laughs) <laughs> don't forget those three S's and those extra underscores. Yeah, no, like recruits yeah, might don't follow forget. you or something. Yeah, I've had so many, like, twenty class of 24 softball players follow me. I'm like, okay. Like, it's so weird seeing, like, that big of a number in, like, their bio. Like, oh, I know. softball 24. But they never say like, anything oh, to me. God. I mean, but I, I didn't reach out. Like, I just followed the upperclassmen. Maybe I should, like, reach out to them. Maybe that's what I'll do today. That's, yeah, that's okay. your goal for the day. That's my Medi- goal. I'll medit- to meditate and think about what you'll say. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank right. you. No problem. I'll see you guys later. Thank you.